as a, as a concerned citizen, I want to take this moment and help parents have a discussion with their children. This is a very difficult, very difficult subject that everybody knows that is extremely hard to talk about with children and to approach them, you know, are you doing it? Are you, are you actively, you know, engaged in it? And, and, you know, but the way to go about it is to be able to say to yourself, are you practicing magic? Are you putting rice in a bear in order to give it life? Are you summoning demons? Are you summoning what you think are angels? Are you putting pencils together with a yes or no piece of paper? All those things. You want to have that discussion with your child and find out, are you involved in the dark or the light arts? You know, thought it was going somewhere else, right? No. <laughs> I can't talk about sex. Um, so... Um, talking about magic with children. Now this of course goes to children as well. If you're a child and you're practicing magic, just know that you are extremely powerful. Extremely powerful. And the reason why you're extremely powerful is because you're rooted to your innocence and magic and creativity have a lot, a very strong, raw power. There's energies around you, both good and bad, guiding you in order to utilize that energy for either to feed your ego or to feed your soul various different elements so it's important to be aware and i know that you know when you're a child you think i know everything <laughs> don't <laughs> you don't <laughs> i think we've seen plenty of 80s horror movies or hor the entire horror genre to recognize that teenagers don't <laughs> even adults <laughs> have a difficulty with the magics you know so what do I say when you're practicing the magics I say anything that's dark you want to run away from anything that's dark you want to educate yourself and know what's up you want to know the demons you know what they do but you don't want to call them <laughs> no. no you want to be aware but not contact you want to be aware of the darkness but definitely not tap into it just be aware you don't want to, you know, give it energy, feed it. Nightmare on Elm Street, the first one. Very powerful, wise stuff. Miss Rosenberg. <laughs> Inside joke. Uh, that's what I was getting at when I said the 20 minutes, by the way, Liz. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it's about that wisdom. It's about taking your power back and saying, I'm not going to feed the darkness. I'm going to, the darkness is there. I see you, but I'm not going to feed it. I'm going to feed the positive. I'm going to feed the goodness. I'm going to feed the light. I'm going to feed the strength of our unity and our bond as human beings as we are in the multiverse, in all of its oneness, one with the creator. That's what I'm going to feed. As hard as it may be, as difficult as it may be, you know, because we have opposition. We have people that will push our buttons and, uh, you know, we got to go towards the light because that's our path. That's our goal. That's our way. So you want to, as a child, if you're a child and you're thinking about, you know, oh, I have a bully, I'm going to summon a demon. <laughs> no, 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 no. <gasps> you want to ask the light of the creator and be like, light of the creator, God, Abba, Father, what should I do? This is hurting. What should I do? Help, guide me, tear, go there. Kabbalah, Kabbalah. <laughs> Kabbalah for children, totally fine. I <laughs> don't. You know, good Kabbalah, because there is our Kabbalah. <laughs> good Kabbalah. Kabbalah Center. Stuff you can find, you know, simple things. Madonna kind of things. <laughs> the Madonna Center Kabbalah. That's the one. I'm not a spokesperson for them. <laughs> As Jamie Green once said, uh, <laughs> but I leave that to you. So, uh, ultimately, if you're a child and you're thinking about magic, talk to your parents. You know, have a discussion. Don't go putting rice and, you know, your nails in a bear to bring you back to life. Don't go casting hexes and curses on your, on people that you're angry at and love spells and trying to attract and get more attention. Don't do any of that. Don't. Because you're getting into a whole world that you have no idea. No idea. 
anytime they're willing to give you that credit card two years old one year old they don't care the darkness does not care they'll give you that credit card and you, they'll it, whatever you can say whatever you can speak you can bring that credit card all day long there's no feet because you're an infinite being you're not just a child you were here before so you can rack up that credit and then when pay time comes you know what's up your soul so are you willing to sell your soul little by little with the swipe of the credit card onto an energy of darkness or are you willing to work for the light through restriction connection joy love humility humiliation what i know huh? what do you think what's the choice either way we're all gonna be one through darkness or through light but i want to wish you a wonderful wonderful eternity